Greetings and welcome to another episode of the Our Links Podcast Project. My name is Martin Wilsey. I'm your host. Tonight we're talking about author photos primarily. Um, I was surprised at, to find out how really important a really professional good author photo uh, really is. Um, I was shocked when I finally got around to having a professional author photo taken. I don't know if it was a coincidence, but I saw a serious spike in my sales after I put up, you know, my uh, uh, favorite uh, professional author photo. Uh, prior to that, I just had a casual selfie actually wearing this shirt. That's why I wore this shirt today. Um, so tonight we're talking about uh, the importance of a professional uh, author photo. What do you guys think? Shay, we'll start with you. All right. Well, yeah, I'm surprised by how many people don't uh, have a professionally taken author photo. When you're self-publishing or indie publishing, I feel like one of the things you have to do is go through a list of legitimizers, for lack of better terms, things that make you look legit as an author. Um, things that will, frankly, not turn readers away from clicking. Sometimes people will not uh, not be interested if you don't have an author photo because it doesn't look like you're uh, the real deal, for example. Um, so I definitely encourage everybody to get one, to get one taken. Uh, publishers will not do this for you. I thought that maybe that they would uh, when I got my deal in 2019. Uh, no, I hired my own photographer and uh, you know went out to a very nice park and just took some photos and, and submitted a very high resolution one and that's what they used. So um, you do it yourself, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a worthy investment for sure. And I guess the last thing I'll say is that there are different tones you might strike. Like Marty, I love yours. Yours is black and white, as far as I remember. Black and white, and it's more of a, a serious, uh, serious tone. So you're not, yeah, you're not I getting, think go ahead. When you talk about what tone do you want to set with your author photo, the very first thing you should do is go out to Amazon and actually look at the author photos for the top 100 authors mm. that are out there selling. You'd be, great surprised. You'd be surprised how uh, many of the extremely successful authors have very professional, uh, obviously professionally taken photos. Um, how often do you see smiling versus not smiling? Um, I think that it, that varies wildly depending on the genre. True. You know, you'll true. see a lot of like, you know, for children's books, you see a lot of like kind um, of goofy, goofy author photos. Sure, sure. Because they're having yeah. fun with it. It's the right. nature of the genre and stuff. I think that if you go out and look at uh, uh, romance uh, genre, um, you'll see a lot of glamour shots in the, mm, yeah, in the author sure. photos. And, yeah. and I can really understand that in, uh, depending yep. on the genre. Uh, but for hard science fiction stuff, it's, they're they're typically pretty serious. There's no glamour shot. Yeah, <laughs> no glamour shots for hard sci-fi. Um, yeah. yeah, for my uh, so the one that I I had for 2019, uh, I used the same photographer for both this one and my book coming out. Um, but yeah, that one I chose one. You know, I was smiling. Uh, it was definitely more more flirtatious, flirtatious you could say, uh, because it was a young adult and it had elements of romance in it uh, that were very strong. So that. That suited that genre. Uh, this time around, I actually just had another photo shoot, um, a little different, same park, but it's winter, so it has a little bit more of a austere uh, feel. And I, I, I took some where I was smiling, and others where I was half smiling, and others where I was not smiling at all. And right now, I'm leaning towards. I haven't exactly picked it yet. I've um, narrowed it down, but I'm, I'm leaning towards the ones that are either half smiling or not smiling, um, just because it's a little bit more of a serious work. My, my upcoming book. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. You tailor it to, to your genre and to your book. Yeah, in fact, you know, in the professional photo session, I uh, I, I did. Um, Where did you go, by the way? Um, it's a, a local photographer, professional okay. photographer here in uh, Fredericksburg. Okay, very cool. And um, the, they, you know, with a, a beautiful um, uh, professional home studio. And 
you know, I, I have a, geez, it must be 150 photos. Really? Separately. And um, uh, a lot of them are in color. Many are in yeah. black and white. Um, I had four different clothes, you know. Did you, did you uh, narrow it down to like 20, then 10? And... Yeah. And uh, I think that uh, in the end, I picked... Um, one, I like the black and white photos because they print better on the interior mm -hmm. of, yeah, um, criteria. of print books. So that's a good thing. Good. Um, the, uh, the color photos, you can't reliably, you know, trust the color mm. uh, photos, well. how they print. Um, right. Uh, at least I can. I'm, so, you know, somebody could probably be a lot better with it than uh, than me, but I tried it. You know, I, you know, for like some of my hardcover editions, I had the color version of my author photo on the uh, inside leaf where the bio was, and you know, it wasn't really popular. The face gets kind of red. It's already red enough here in this podcast. Um, <laughs> so I'm pretty much sticking with the black and white. You know, it's a uh, it's a it's a great photo. Um, but, but Marty, how did you, how did you, all right, so when the, when the photographer tells me, don't smile, then I smile. It's like, it's like when someone says, don't think about elephants. No. Don't think about elephants. No, she, uh, to you. she would say stuff. She would say, like, think about when your first pet died. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's like, there's a couple of funny reactions in there. But, um, you know, she, yeah, I think she I like these story. really interesting questions and it would actually show in your eyes the different answers. Hmm. And oh. um, I, I'm strictly wasn't doing a smile one. It was, I can't remember how she got the brooding, you know, side lit kind of, uh, you know, uh, serial killer photo that I actually love and use all the time. <laughs> I, I don't know, but um, hmm. yeah. Well, I just want you all to know that I feel so, so, so inadequate because I don't have a professional photo. You have time. You don't have one know. yet. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I guess I yes. have an out. So I do not have a professional photo and, and I can see the need for one. Now, I do have a separate gimmick that I've been doing in my books, um, which is the author photo I put in my bio in my books. Uh, I do a different one for every single book, and they're usually something a little bit out of the ordinary. I think uh, in one of my books, uh, I was on my deck, um, uh, and my 130-pound Great Dane was uh, standing up and uh, I was holding his paws and he was almost my height. Um, and so I, I used that as, as an author photo in one of my books. I, I used another one uh, that, I, that was taken at uh, Cape Canaveral uh, with uh, looking up from below my chin and you can see the, the rocket ships uh, behind me. Uh, so, you know, so a, a photo cool. on Amazon, I would, I, I would prefer it to be kind of serious and drawing people in. Right. Uh, but the ones I use in my books, I, I do a different one for each book and I try to do something that has character. Listen, yeah. all of us, we got to put photos on our books. The three of us have to put photos on our books because guys suck sells. Now, I, I will say I, I, I do color photos in the eBooks and black and white in the, uh, in the print editions. Dave, I just called you sexy. You missed it. Ooh, <laughs> I did. I it's there really you funny how your yellow ball keeps popping in and out of reality. I know, yeah. It's supposed to blur everything in the background. <laughs> but I, I guess when it pops out, that means I have an idea, right? <laughs> idea. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah so the big thing, thing is, is um, you know, align with your genre. Really, really do that. Um, yeah. I don't think that your author photo particularly is going to sell your books. But I think a wrong author photo will make somebody swipe and keep looking for a book. Right. Them. So if it's not professional, there's they'll just say, oh, self-published author, he probably is 
too vain to even hire an editor. So I'm not going to buy this book. You know, <laughs> but you don't want that. You don't right. want the vetoes. You need There's to... a difference between not having a photo printed actually on the book and having one of those blank, like, little character, you know, no profile picture Facebook people. You know that what those look like? The little Oh, yeah, people. the little yeah. silhouette. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, like, that, thing. That's the worst. That's thing. the worst. That yeah, is absolutely that's... the worst. Yeah. <laughs> and in fact, well, the worst is not having an author page on Amazon at all. That yeah, is yeah. the clear indicator that you don't know what the hell you're doing. Um, second is having an author page with a half-assed bio and no profile pic, no no author pic at all. That is another off-putting thing. That's you know, there's a lot of readers out there that have gotten burned in the past by uh, really poorly done self-published books, and um, it's really funny. I I kind of collect them. You know, I I collect the worst examples I can find just to have in a library of what not to do. And uh, so it's mm -hmm. it's important that you actually um, do absolutely everything you can to be completely indistinguishable from a publication from one of the big five. That's your goal. Really. And, the, and I think I accomplished that for the most part. I, yeah. I can see where I can up my game with a, with a better uh, general author photo. Uh, but the thing I do with the, the bios in my books, to, to me, that's, that, that is kind of a fun part of my brand that I, I intend to lean into a bit more. Yeah, that's actually a really kind of interesting idea. And the next thing past the, the photos is the bio that is listed on your Amazon page and all over the place, inside the books that you publish, um, on your website, all in your platform. I am on the edge of uh, doing a rewrite for my bios because, well, frankly, my wife is sick of it. <laughs> so I, I have to rewrite it or she's just going to keep rolling her eyes at me and we can't have that. Happy wife, happy wife. Yes, right. <laughs> so what do you guys right. think about bios? Is bio, writing bio, your own bio as hard for you guys as it is for me? It's difficult. It's just like writing a summary of a novel, right? Boiling it all down into one one paragraph. Yeah, which takes me like as long as to write the whole novel. You always know, uh, feel like you're you're missing a, a very important part of your character, you know, <laughs> when you leave it out. No, I have enough uh, accomplishments that, uh, you know, I, I feel like this is one of those things where you can have several bios of different lengths and you can use them in different places for different sure. purposes. You know, it's good to have maybe that 100 or 150 word bio that's the one paragraph you're talking about that you can just use mm -hmm. uh, and then the bio that i put in my books is actually like three paragraphs uh it, it talks about a little bit about me a little bit about my books my the, the books that i edit it uh, mentions this podcast as an example and then it has links to my website uh, my newsletter and my facebook page my facebook author page right so I, I am just highly amused I'm highly amused about writing about myself in the third person. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. It, it like totally cracks me up. And I, uh, you know. I, I remember one time for our bio, I had to write it. Um, and it was a situation that didn't particularly call for a very serious, you know, professional bio. So I could have a little fun with it. And I wrote, you know, S.C. McGowey enjoys long walks on the beach, you know, writing novels, and particularly composing third person present tense, present tense biographies about herself. <laughs> and so. And, and, and that's a perfectly amusing bio to use in, in a certain circumstances. Yeah, right. right. That's, no, yeah. that's know your audience. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the bio. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, speaking of audience, you know, that's the segue. You know, one of the last things I wanted to mention before we uh, got out of here. Um, the author photo and the author bio is a really important component of what, what a lot of people call media kits. Um, I think that we'll probably have an entire episode about media kits at some point in the future. But it is a, uh, you know, a cornerstone on your media kit, having uh, really good author photos and bios for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, your your media kit is uh, 
it's kind of like a dynamic uh, online business card uh, for somebody who wants to find out about you. And I'm not talking just about readers, but I'm talking about uh, uh, somebody who wants to interview you uh, or a journalist or a bookstore that you're, you're asking them to carry your books, perhaps, um, you know, something like that. And they just want to go to a page where they can find out about you and, and see, you know, if they want to feature you in the newsletter. Is there a photo that they can grab, like your author photo? Yeah. If they're going to write a little bit about you, can they steal something from your online bio, you know, some content? for your That's reason. also why I think, you know, a good rule of thumb for bios or even your entire website, to be fair, um, because you, you don't know when someone from the media is going to stumble across this and be interested. So a rule of thumb is to keep everything evergreen. Um, you know, you know, you don't want to say S.C. McGowey is 27 years old because by the time the person comes, maybe I'm 30, you know? Uh, so you, you want to use language like born in 1995. Um, you wouldn't want to say has published three books because maybe by that time you have published six books, hopefully, you know, you're on the right track. Um, so you could say, you know, multiple books in the genre or, uh, or, or, or one, one that I use that you know, doesn't have a quantity that would have to be ever changing would be, I, I, I in one of my bios, I have, you know, uh, S.C. McGowey first published a book uh, at the age of 23, which will always be true. You know, or S.C. McGowey first published a book in, 20, in 2019, um, which will always be true. So keep in mind that as well, so that you don't have to have the media doesn't have to think, oh, you know, I got to go check and verify this, this information now. That might deter them. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll hit media kits in the future. I think that'll uh, be a, a very useful um, uh, uh, podcast when we get to that. Yeah. So yeah. Any, other, any other details about um, author photos you guys want to talk about? Don't think about elephants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I think I think we covered it, but yeah, just just uh, as Marty said, look at some that you like. Think about what they are resonating um, for this latest go around. Uh, I saw an author photo that I really liked, where the author was you know, had a very demure expression and was just leaning on a tree. Of course, I have a little bit of difficulty leaning on a tree. If I do that with my three hundred pound wheelchair, the tree goes down. <laughs> so. Uh, instead, I just put my hand on the tree trunk, and I really liked the kind of confidence and uh, and serenity that that, that uh, resonated. So, yeah, little stuff like that. Keep it in mind; it's all part of who you are, your identities. It's part of yeah. your brand. It's part of your branding. Yep. Right. Yeah, you, know, you, you you're always working on your author brand, and you're always working to uh, uh, to get people to recognize your author brand and buy your books. So, don't. Don't ignore this piece, as yep. I've done so far. Hey, uh, I have one more question. I was, in looking at the author photos on Amazon, how often do you think you should refresh it? Because I've, I've met a lot of authors, and their author photos are like 20 years old, 30 years right, old. Right, right. I mean, uh, um, I was way more handsome when I had my author photo, you know. Take so I'm going to keep that one for a long time. But how long do you think uh, you need to refresh them? I think the supermarket rule applies. What's the supermarket rule? The supermarket supermarkets tend to reorganize uh, at least every five to seven years, uh, and the reason why is because uh, uh, they start suffering from uh, buyer fatigue. People get tired of the, su the supermarket because it's the same old boring stuff in all the same old boring places, and they find they have to. Um, change it to uh, basically attract people back again, five to seven years. I suspect there's something similar when it comes to um, bio photos, uh, but certainly a 20 year photo that's out of, that's way out of way, way out of date seems kind of ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I totally um, see the, the value in staying consistent, you know, by having the same photo, if it's a well, well shot photo, uh, because I, as we were saying, it builds your brand. But upon reflection, I'm realizing I really have not done that. Um, I, I've used, I've reused photos before, yes. Um, but as far as what's actually printed on my books, all three of my books that include photos right now will have different photos. And the reason being because they have, they're very different genres. So the first one I spoke about was the YA. 
the second one was a, a very intimate biography of my brother. So the bio picture that I had was me and my brother, a picture mm -hmm. of us together. And then this third one, uh, again, totally different tone. So I had, I had a new picture taken. Um, so, you know, there might be some flaws in that. You know, some people could criticize that and say, you know, it's, uh, it dilutes my brand because it's not consistent. Um, but I rather like it. I don't know. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy showing that I'm versatile and that I, there's many facets of me. Um, so, you know, for what it's worth, that's, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. But, and I want people to recognize me at a book signing. There you go. So I'm not going to, you know, put up an 18-year-old photo of myself <laughs> because uh, I, I don't look like that at all anymore. So, all right, guys, good episode. And yep. um, thanks for coming by. And uh, I guess that's it for today. We'll see you next time.